cunt. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the three for podcast. Three. Uh, Night shift podcast cruise. It's been two weeks since we did this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're actually going to be making this into a every two week thing because we've noticed when we're trying to push oh, yeah. every single week, we tend to miss a day or two. Yeah. And then we slack and then a bunch so of So we just comes decided out. we're going to. Yeah, we're just going to force ourselves to do it once every two weeks. They'll be a bit longer than usual, probably, or what the usual was. They'll probably end up now being like maybe an hour and a half, you know, somewhere along that mark, maybe even two hours if we're feeling bored. But it's going to be only once every two weeks now. And we now have more people who will be regularly joining us, like this week from uh, our Discord server, which, as always, linked below. Uh, we've got Veteran Cougar and Noob Factor, or Vet and Noob. Introduce yourselves, nerds. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> yeah, it's very much. Uh, Vet is a new f- new voice to the podcast, but we had Noob, I believe, last week and the week before, so she's becoming a regular at this point. And she isn't talking. Oh, well. We'll talk eventually. We're having I feel some... like she's broke. We've been having some difficulties with her in specific all night, and we have no idea why. Yeah. But, um, okay, oh, so... God. To get some normal talking and news article out, Star Wars, oh. it's, um... Oh, Christ. <laughs> past, like, two days... I haven't watched it yet. Episode 9 teaser to. trailer is fucking amazing. And I actually, although it is EA, they deserve yeah, in the game. a hell of a amount oh, the of game. skepticism. Gotcha. But, For being honest, Star Wars is just a milk series at this point. Yeah, but <laughs> they're finally coming out with a single player game. Uh, so I actually, I, I want to see more than just the trailer that we got today. Yeah. We played the Lego Star Wars game. Yeah. I'm actually going to play Uber it. I'm player. playing him right Stop. now. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. But, um... Oh. Oh, she speaks. But yeah, no. Also, oh, just, just so you guys have some background info, we're recording at 10 o'clock at night. We were going to try and start at 9, but we were both busy and we're too lazy to like go on the 30-minute mark, so we just went to the hour mark. So, we're yawning. We're tired. It's late. <laughs> we're going going to get a lot of things that shouldn't be funny. We'll probably laugh at them anyway. Like, spiv. <laughs> that not it's 10 where you live, but it's 12 where I live. You know so. what? It's, it's, it's a spiv. <laughs> Sorry, it's late for us, but it's really late for Vet. Yeah. Yeah. Vet should be asleep, but oh well. So, actual good news <laughs> is that, uh, Less than two weeks ago, uh, a black hole was photographed. Oh, yeah. Oh, Christ. Please okay, so... stop. That's all I saw on Reddit for like an entire... Not, Reddit, <laughs> not even Reddit, like iPhone. That's all I would see through there. Well, no. It's... It was kind of funny because off of that one picture, PC gamers were actually making jokes about Ryzen and putting like the Ryzen <laughs> logo in it because it was all gold. Oh, it was like a orange gold. So that was pretty funny to see. So... See. Oh my god. But yeah, black holes. Those are semi rare, especially cap- capturing on cameras. Black holes are rare, it's just. You can't really capture it on camera. Black holes aren't rare. You just, we can't see them, so we have no idea how many there actually are. You know, there's actually a point in the black hole where light kind of revolves around the black hole, kind of like the Earth revolves around the sun. So you would look to your right and you'd see the back of your head. And that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Christ, that is... That doesn't sound like fun. Also, side note, my Discord, like... Half the active people all have, like, a rainbow over their pictures, and it kind of makes me angry. Okay, okay, funny story about I'm that. Not, so, I'm not against gay people, I'm just against excessive amounts of rainbow. 
No, no, you don't understand. On the Adventure with God Discord, like the top eight people, oh, yeah, minus yeah, okay. hey, we don't, hey, we don't plug other discords. We don't plug. I'm, other I'm sorry. Discords. I got a, I got a funny story to it, but still. Um, On another unnamed Discord server, where I yeah. happen to have found, like the top, like eight people, minus one, have a rainbow, and so I was looking. Someone screenshotted it and posted it into the chat, and I was looking at it, and then my mom came in my room. So my mom might think that I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. I mean, it doesn't help that I have to go either. So, like, this went huh? Loser. I mean, people think I'm gay without that, but like now, this just this hella rainbows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no way. <clears throat> But, um, <laughs> fucking honestly, let's, let's just let's go really general. What have you guys been up to these past two weeks? Not just past two weeks, past couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, true, but past two weeks, you know, because that's how long it's been since we recorded. Vet's been a bit longer for him, so I guess he gets a pass. But what have you guys been up to? What's new? Fair enough, nothing. <laughs> there, there's a, all right, so what's new? Awkward silence. Same old shit every day. Oh my god. Yeah, that was funny. Um, but no, for me at least, it's been school, work. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Games. <laughs> <laughs> Life of your average teenager sounds about right. Pretty much. Uh, I recently did uh, have started night school because I, like a fool, failed my first semester of English, uh, AP. Like, so now I'm taking night school, which is actually really easy. Like, I'm sure be like, oh, it's another period. Sure, it's two hours of another class, but I'm honestly only doing something in that. class class for like the first probably 30 45 minutes and then the rest of the time i'm just sitting there fucking off it's, it's great i kind of wish i could take night classes instead of day classes just because i'd rather stay awake when no one else is you say that but i have to do that it kind of <laughs> sucks no. like it's cool because it actually lines up with work because i go to work at anywhere from 8 o'clock in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I have classes from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., uh, which it's only a three-hour class, but by the time I get home, everyone's asleep, and it's dark as hell outside and everything, but... Did you say it's, it's like, cold outside? Is that one of your problems that it's cold outside? No, I said it's dark. Oh, I think you said it's cold. I don't know why I heard cold, but I was just like, wait. No. What? But Is that a problem? I don't know. It like I like them, but mm-hmm. being up a lot later than everyone else kind of throws off your sleep schedule. Yeah, and that's also because you're like, it's becoming your habit to just be the last one up, essentially. Pretty much. Which I guess has its ups and downs. But. By all means, if you, you know what, Vet, we invited you in here to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like, by all means, if you want to attempt night classes, then go ahead and see if you're able to. He yeah. says, so he says. Well, no, because some schools will actually be open till pretty late at night for like night classes specifically. I don't know if the pros, that school, the pros to night classes is that you have less of a chance of getting shot up. The cons are you have to <laughs> <take a> night. <laughs> oh, oh. This, is very, this is very true. I mean, yeah, he he isn't exactly wrong, but should we allow him to get away with being wrong? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fucked. <laughs> Christ, vet. <laughs> Don't mind me, just yawn. Um, but yeah, noob. So you've been pretty quiet. What's going on with you? Um, 
Oh, uh, nothing much, man. Just chilling. Cool, cool. Anything crazy or interesting past week or two? We moved, I guess. Yeah, we I'll moved. Like... Uh, we live in a townhome now. It's pretty dope. Cool, cool. Townhome doesn't that just yeah. mean like it's one um, story, but we're on like, spring big... break right now. We just got on spring break. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Dang, I had spring break like. Three or four weeks ago. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You had spring break before everyone else. Like I think I remember talking. Yeah, like a to week of about... spring break, basically. Well, yeah, that's normally what spring break is at this point. It's normally like a week. Also, have no idea what he's saying. Future, have no idea what you're saying. Good. <laughs> it's I can hear. Right yeah, no, I can I only can hear on Sounder and Veteran, and but not Future. <laughs> is he like fuzzy? Or? No, he's just like I can barely hear him. I don't hear him at all. I like, hear like a little. <laughs> Wait, go into the Discord settings and right click on his name. And see I if did. I did. It's Wait, fully up. Under, under, I don't know what's going on me? with it. I can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh, okay. I was like, oh fuck. The, I was gonna... But I can barely hear him. That's weird. It could be because he is on the phone right. at the moment, but. The fact that it's only going for one. The person. other two can hear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the other it's two interesting. Can hear I don't know. I have an HP computer, which is pretty lame. So. Yeah, HP computer is okay. <laughs> I only say that because I have an HP computer, so I kind of am contractually obligated to like. I have MSI a for life. Power key. <laughs> MSI for life. I mean, yes, but at the same time, no. <laughs> Oh hey, god. I want to play a game with the name our PC specs. Just kidding. Oh, you think <laughs> I know it's off the top of my head? No, okay, so that's over here because pointing I'm, out the real thing. No, because I can I'm hear him now. I'm Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no, because I have a gaming laptop. I know all my specs almost by heart. Because it's Do you have Alienware? It's me? No, I have an MSI. Oh. I have an MSI GL62M7RDX with 16 gigabytes of RAM, an i5 7300 HQ with a GTX 1050. Yeah, that's amazing. I totally know what that is. It's amazing, man. That's my specs. You wanna know what I have? I actually mute you. <laughs> I have a oh HP laptop with AMD A6 processor, sleek, stylish, portable, and a beautiful <laughs> HP display. <laughs> <laughs> Starts reading like the freaking Amazon page. For <laughs> he's looking at the he's looking for at the ad for it. He's like wait, Intel wait, wait. Seven Core Pro. Alright, this is the best part. Use your smartphone for scan, reviews, videos, pictures, oh, specs, stop, and support. Stop reading. <laughs> stop reading. Stop reading. You get it. Oh, man. Uh, but, uh, hey, actually just throwing oh some stuff out there. Nope. Minecraft. Stop. We're done talking about your computer. Okay. No, Minecraft. You <laughs> threw Minecraft. We're good. We're good. Even more. <laughs> the pre-releases, uh, 1 and 2 have came out in the past, like, what? Three days. Oh yeah. Saw that. Yeah. We're just waiting for one fourteen to release. Pretty mm -hmm. much. You know, Minecraft's actually becoming relevant again just because of all the memes. That's so true. Yeah. It, 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 well, that and also one thirteen kind of brought it back. Like one twelve, one eleven, one ten. It was all kind of like dead ish. I'd say one nine was one of the most game changing, but still one of the most worst. One of oh, yeah. the most. One I of hate, the worst. I hate. One of the most fucking... worst. I'm gonna interrupt you for two seconds. One of the most worst. I already commented on one of the it. Most worst. That makes sense. One of the most worst. It's one of the. Never mind. I'm not gonna pronounce it. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh, 115 man. better be the cave update, or I'm I'm gonna quit playing Minecraft. I mean, like Minecraft's always been relevant, though, if you think about it. It just wasn't really bopping or pumping up as it was before. That is the opposite of relevant. Okay. I mean, yeah, the Minecraft community. Is the thing. It just yeah, wasn't I mean, like. 
playing Minecraft, guys. Oh my gosh. No, it's ninjas playing Fortnite because Fortnite came out and PUBG came out. But like Apex well, Legends came out and that's I mean, over. Yeah. You got big you know, the, of Fortnite, Royale, you know? the only battle royale that I like is Tetris ninety nine, okay? <laughs> yes. Good job. I like you. <laughs> Tetris ninety nine. Tetris <laughs> is the shit. No, so you guys wanna know the original? Minecraft Hunger yeah. Games. Let's get it. Oh my no, god. No. You want to know no. the original original? Standard How many originals are there? There's just quite a few originals, depending on which <laughs> yes. version of it you're talking about. But yeah, there's quite a few. The original original is just Minecraft. Okay. Yeah, on a completely other topic, uh, PewDiePie in the past two weeks uploaded his video Congratulations, which now has... A lot that. of views and a lot of likes, yeah. and it increased the sub gap between him and T Series to like four hundred and sixty thousand. Nice. And then within like the past series. four days, they brought it down to sixty thousand. So mm. it's funny how long this battle between PewDiePie and T Series is gone. It's honestly only because of the memes, and I feel like. PewDiePie needs to make it to 100,000. I like how a bunch of the YouTubers, though, kind of, like, joined into their little battle and, like... If you guys think about it, though, if you guys honestly think about it, T-Series v. PewDiePie is the first official war of robots versus humans. (laughs) Yeah, they already already have robot dogs and robot babies. If we're being being completely honest, I'd say this is one of... The most meme. This is one of the biggest memes that's actually ever mattered because PewDiePie yeah. staying on number one is what's gonna keep YouTube YouTube. Exactly, PewDiePie's platform is literally the best platform out there. He has Honestly, changed YouTube. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but T Series actually filed a claim for defamation in India, and so now you can't watch the original uh, female dog lasagna video. <laughs> Uh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but however hard we may try, neither of us are monetized yet. I don't think they're going to hit you for saying bitch lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I cuss all the time on my channel, so it's all good. Yeah, no, I already I said just, the S word. I just don't like the cuss because, one, I have my nephew over and two, I'm not sure if I'm like if everyone else is everyone else is asleep. So, so I can't anyway, see. They actually, like I was saying, they actually banned the video in India, and so now you can't watch the original video in India, which just shows how much power T Series in general yeah. has. Yeah. Well, isn't he like made out of bots though? T Series. <laughs> Is he made out of bots? Is he made out of bots? There's like a little... Hold up. Don't don't I'm only saying this because I've heard... Wait, I'm only saying that because... It's about this. Because there were so many people that are rumoring around saying, oh yeah, T-Series just got a bunch of stupid bots and fake accounts and has this many followers because of that and it's fake. Well, PewDiePie, on the other hand, has real followers and real subscribers and all this bullcrap, but, like... If we're being honest, yeah, that's... Most of that's completely false. T-Series doesn't really sub-bot, and... Yeah. I, I don't really know where I was going with that. <laughs> oh, that's that's what I assumed, though. I was just like, okay. T-Series is big because India loves T-Series for whatever and reason. Then, a I lot did. of that too is India is now getting like, Wi-Fi, like, and so now we have yeah. more on the internet. And yeah, granted, some of those Indians are s- subscribing to PewDiePie, which is good. However, the majority of them are going to be subscribing to T-Series. So, yeah. If we're being honest, PewDiePie is only really staying on top, just due to the fact of how much people love him. So they're making, they're essentially making bots, but they're putting in the effort to make the account to sub. To him, you know? Well, it's not a bot anymore, though. They're just making fake accounts, not bots. Yeah, that's where it was, fake accounts. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, so they're technically people. They're but... not. Yeah. And honestly, that's probably going to hurt PewDiePie in the long run, because later on when uh, YouTube does these purges, 
where they just remove people like inactive subs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is gonna suffer a lot from that because there's gonna be all those inactive accounts. Yeah. See, I I don't think it will though. I don't think they're gonna do that because I feel like YouTube has realized how strong PewDiePie is. Like they tried to disconnect themselves from him when the whole um when he dropped the N word on streamer, they tried to separate themselves from him. But he just came back stronger. PewDiePie is one of those people who somehow keeps his following, you know. And he's got some big YouTubers with him as well, and just big real world names like fucking Elon Musk likes PewDiePie. Come on now. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Beast over here, the literal money powerhouse of YouTube. Gave him a bunch of money, PewDiePie. made a video yeah. on it. Well, if we're being completely honest, it's not as much a war between PewDiePie versus T-Series. It's more of a war between individual creators versus massive companies. I mean, just look at it. Pretty much. Massive companies are taking over. Just look at the bright side. One one of the fastest growing channels right now. Which is amazing how that came to be, Mm -hmm. honestly. And honestly, if PewDiePie versus... If, or if PewDiePie reached 100,000 first, that would be a way for YouTube to sh- show their support for him. But mm-hmm. even if it happens, they're not going to. We all know it. That's YouTube. Honestly, we need a new, uh, what's it called? Platform. Yeah. YouTube's old. It's not. We need a new platform. Why are you like this? Well, no. Why do so, you sound like that? I think why are you sound like that? <laughs> yeah, why do you sound like that? He's uh, just so I'm tired. I'm like, tired. <laughs> look, okay, it may be 10 where you guys live, but it's 12.30 here. Okay, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. If- Bruh. You can sound Co- like that. You can Stella. sound like you're not high or like a girl. Coachella. <laughs> Co- oh my god, Stella. guys. It's Coachella. <laughs> Alright, but no, like, so I think what he was trying to say with, like, we need a new platform. Essentially, we need a competitor platform for YouTube. Kind of like how Epic Games is to Steam. I mean, Epic Games really isn't comparable to Steam, if we're being honest. Well, it's not, but they're trying to, and that's what people they're are trying. saying. But like, you know, one thing, one thing that should happen is Twitch should have its own like different section where you can upload videos. And I agree. Like you can, and following yeah. people would be like the new. It would be like the new YouTube. And yeah. Twitch shows a lot more support for new YouTube uh, for our accounts rather than YouTube. And Twitch is actually made for gaming. YouTube is yeah. for everything. Well, exactly. That that'd be the only negative side, I guess. But still, it's better because your videos are getting monetized. And besides, yeah, but that and also, if you're posting videos on Twitch, most likely you are a gamer. So, you would at least think that the some of your videos would at least be noticed. I don't YouTube think people. anything. I don't believe. In YouTube and communities in general, most communities these days are terrible people. Yeah, there's a yeah, couple good ones stuff around. Stuff though, there's honestly mm-hmm. just the world is falling in front of us, and no one's doing anything about it. Global warming, global <laughs> oh, not exactly what I mean. However, right, global warming Trump. is a lie. There's no proof global to back warming. it. Okay, Are you okay. kidding me? Do you not see the ice caps? Okay, okay. So we talk about Okay, so people say global warming is because of cars and factories and stuff like that. But oh. just think if you had to think and guess, what percent of global warming would you say is people smoking weed and marijuana and stuff like that? Probably like three percent. Three Christ so mighty. No. No, it's honestly a lot. Well, no, it is, but if you take 3% of the entire earth, you know, how many people that is? That's a fucking lot. It's not even just that, though. Do you not see that? Okay, That's the main millions. issue is that we could go underwater very soon. Because 
Now, the ice caps are, like, all melting and stuff, right? And the sun is absorbing, like, inside it, some deep sky stuff. I don't know. I'm not that smart. Enough. You know, if Hawaii doesn't survive <laughs> everyone going underwater, I say we blame it's Japan for fucking with our boats. It's like Venice or something's already underwater. No, I'm saying if Hawaii goes underwater and they don't survive, I say we blame Japan because back in World War II, they fucked with our boats. <laughs> True. No, that's why we have so, airplanes now. We can live on airplanes. Honestly, I think we're fucked with our boats. Someone should just drop that's a nuke. That's why we have good airplanes. Someone should just drop a nuke into the Yellowstone volcano, causing a massive eruption, causing all of humanity to go extinct, and then see. We almost did that up. actually. Um, if you don't remember, uh, Trump and oh, uh, Jesus. North Korea, in the Korea, not North Korea. Uh. <laughs> Japan. Japan. No, I'm saying if Trump goes over here on Twitter, I'll press the button. I got the button on my desk. I'll press it. I got you. I'll press oh, it. Hold on to it. <laughs> I don't oh, think they would have it. a button oh, sitting there. Like one person oh, yeah. that much power. I mean, it I was like a joke, that. though. It's like, you know, but like, yeah, we have the technology now, though, that nuclear war it could happen, which is, you know, it's kind of scary to think about it, but like honestly, I kind of want to know what would happen if you were to actually drop a nuke into the Yellowstone volcano <laughs> because already the Yellowstone volcano. Volcano. <laughs> it's late. I can't speak. Okay. Not good. Poop. Uh, like anyway. just like come out. Like a little poop comes out, and it's just like a little bit of something just comes out. A little smoke. Wait, but yeah, anyway, the Yellowstone volcano is already. Yeah, under- I don't know. What did you say? Coachella. <laughs> Coachella, dude. I'm tired, honestly. Like I said, if he can sound like that at 12, you can sound like him at 10. Yeah, pretty much. Coachella. Coachella. Where's my Starbucks? I'm an artist. Coachella, bruh. Like, bruh, bruh, where's the Coachella party at? Coachella. God, why do we keep going back to coach? Oh, it's because of me. It's my fault. That's yeah, that's just you and you. Me and Sounder are over here trying to have a civil podcast, and then yeah, just Coachella and- comes out of the corner. <laughs> Coachella, yeah, civilized people in the background over here. Coachella. Coachella is going on right now. So if you guys want to go to Coachella, Nutella. just buy three hundred Coachella. Like spend Yo, get that three hundred bucks for a fucking ticket and go to Coachella. <laughs> Coachella. It's going on for like the next week. I need to film an Instagram with Coachella pics. Yeah. Stop. Please <laughs> stop. Honestly. Every white girl ever. <laughs> Honestly. Coachella. <laughs> My God. Can we stop talking about Coachella now? I mean, to stay, well comfy, to stay relevant, you've got to have Gucci clothes, okay? Just, no. You gotta wear, like, Louis Vuitton and have the stupid, I mean, not the stupid, it's awesome, it's lit. Um, <laughs> little bag across your, 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 what do you call it? What's the freaking bag that goes on your hip? A fanny, fanny bag? Pack? Yeah, you gotta have one of those on. <laughs> you Real gold chains, guys. Real. You know how heavy that would be? Ask, yeah, ask every um, rapper ever. Okay, not every rapper. Every popular rapper. Get it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Uzi. <sighs> Lil Uzi was actually caught with fake chains. Ooh. So... <laughs> Is it a crime to want to look good, though? Same thing with six yeah, but when you wear fake stuff, though. It's not a crime to want to look good, but nowadays it's all about looking good. Exactly. Yeah. It's so dumb. Like, I can't go to rap, school now. Like, mm. bumble rap's a huge thing, but they try to look the best they can. Take, for example, the Kardashians. They have no talents. The only, oh. the only difference that makes them different from the average family Their lips and butts. is that, yeah, that it's just a, that they look visually rich. appealing. Like hell well, that's they're because they're, that's, but that's because they're celebrities. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, well, you know funny, they would just be average family. Yeah. People get into fights. I've literally seen a fight because someone accidentally broke 
the strap of their Gucci backpack, and then a fight happened. You're like, I spent all my money on on your backpack. You all gonna beat your butt. You better get your ass back, you boy. You be in the parking lot. <laughs> like they just go crazy. Honestly, I would say that's a reasonable person to punch someone because a Gucci freaking. A Gucci just like, backpack would be. Like, they got like yeah, that costs a lot nowadays. Three hundred or am I overestimating? In high school, no, dude. you're probably underestimating. For being honest, like, you're a kid in high school. <laughs> oh, have you guys seen the clip of the guy? And he's he's sitting there. It's just like, so why do you want a crowbar? Just to have one? It's just he, it's, it's when Supreme released their crowbars, and he's just like. Oh, I don't know what yeah. I'll do with it, but I'll have a freaking crowbar. <laughs> it's, yeah. I'll just have a no clue why he wants it. Just... Carry it around, man. Totally fun. I feel famous. Also, going back on the Kardashians, did you guys know that Kim Kardashian is actually trying to be a lawyer? No oh, way. I... Yeah, she's actually going Honestly, into Honestly, I think she could. Like... Well, no, she's been wanting, apparently, she's been wanting to do this for a long time. And yeah. she's in the state of california you don't have to go and get like your law school degree or anything you right. just have to essentially um physically witness um mm-hmm. like how everything works for three years so basically shadow like a lawyer for three years and right. then you could take a test and if you pass that test you become a lawyer like essentially you get awesome. your certificate and that's what she wants to do and it's like, God damn. That's, pretty dope, though. that's actually kind of like a good change, though, for, you know, that. So you won't be just recognized as this figure. Yeah, she'll be recognized yeah. as this figure that has. Like, like respect. A degree she might get for... respect. Let's just hope the judge is female, okay? Let's hope Kim Kardashian doesn't go into the freaking court trying to seduce a man. I'll button for sure in a little bit. Hey guys, um, don't don't do anything to him. Unbuttons a little bit more. Just don't. Oh do God. Anything. <laughs> too lewd. Too lewd. We're not trying to tell story over here, all right? Cut the vibe. Yeah, cut the vibe. No, no, no. We're just saying what can happen to what what the yeah <clears throat> yeah. So Minecraft. <laughs> so Minecraft one fourteen. Are you guys even hyped or no? No. I'm hyped that I got Minecraft enough? on my computer now. Is is just 114 like not enough? Similar to what 113 was? Like 113. Yeah, no, I know I actually 115. Let's say make well, a 115. I'm I'm just not into Minecraft anymore. Minecraft just isn't fun. But real cool. I am well no so Minecraft to me is like a hit and miss. Like it's fun, but I have to play with people. If I'm playing solo, it's not fun. But I miss again, okay. Look, I miss the good old days when actual good games would be trending, and it trip. wouldn't just be freaking battle royale. Every like, think of it. Everywhere you look, it's a battle royale. Like Mr. Beast is even uploading more about battle royale because he knows it's relevant. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that though. That's I. I honestly, that's so true. And it's kind of frustrating because that's all you see now on like the new stuff, new updates, new everything. It's just like I'm kind of getting sick of it. It's getting boring. Honestly, I've been like, sick of it, it for a while and now. Then, and then all like your YouTubers, you got they're all making videos on that. Like YouTubers yeah, that don't so, do gaming are doing videos on like, Fortnite. It, it like you know there's even people like Wildcat which. He used right. to upload nothing to do with what's trending, and now he's uploading Fortnite. Like, he's like, what the fuck, a... dude? Like, everyone's doing these games that like they're doing Fortnite or Fortnite. Like, it's just like, dude, I'm kind of done with your content. Where's the other stuff you used to do? <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, like, I kind of got tired of uh, Fortnite. A, like mm-hmm. a while ago but because of that i'm actually getting back into PUBG. ironic as it sounds PUBG's pretty dope though i honestly, prefer honestly PUBG. i'm just tired of battle royale in general i don't think battle royale should be what's trending right now there's no real community for it for like i agree with you on that. there's yeah. no real community like and it's really really repetitive it is because that's all you see. Like, literally, like, some of the commercials or, like, ads on YouTube when you're watching is is Fortnite. 
download today. I'd say Play the golden today. days. Battle I'd say like the most golden days are when Overwatch was blowing up because Overwatch is such a good game. It is. This is a great story. Yeah. Also, what is your guys' opinion on Titanfall Two? Hey, that's a shit. Because I got Titanfall Two. I, I lost Titanfall Two. I no longer know where Titanfall Two is. <laughs> No, personally, I got it for my PS4, and now my PS4 isn't even plugged up, which just shows how much I don't even get on that anymore. I have Titanfall 1 for my Xbox One, and I got Titanfall 2 on my PC. Okay, okay, okay. This is something I did not know about, but recently, I don't know if you guys know what Castle Crashers is. It's an old game that was on the Xbox 360, the PS3, and recently, they're, it's on the Xbox One, but they're just now releasing it on the PS4, and that's only because they're releasing it on the Switch 2. That's weird, because that game's oh. been out for a long time on the Xbox. Yeah, and people have been asking it for a while now. And they're finally releasing it on the PS4, and then they're releasing it on the Switch too. So I'm about to have this on four different consoles. I have it on my PC, I have it on my 360, I'm going to have it on my Switch and PS4 too. Wait, so Just since, because it's that good of a game. Since you brought up Switch, have you ever played uh, Hellblade, Senua's? Yes. I haven't. No? Well... Yes. It's coming to well, it's on the Switch, and apparently, it's actually a good port. They should bring back Super Mario sixty four on Switch. Yes. Oh yes, my gosh! Yes. yes, they have uh, what is it? They have Mario. What is it called? Car Mario Kart on there. But I totally would. That would be dope if they put that on the Switch. Just like they need to bring back some of the original games, like the original Super Mario sixty four. It's so good. It's even still popular now. There's still a good amount of YouTubers that are uploading Super Mario 64 content. Mm. Well, I think they gotta bring up the old stuff again. Yeah, bring, bring it back. Bring back the old stuff, but with like new textures. Bring back the antiques. Don't don't change exactly. anything. Like don't do a remaster. Just update the textures a little bit, and that's yeah. that's all they need. It's a little bit nice, you know, but that's all. Yeah, just bring it back though because all these new ideas are the same ideas like there's some good ones you know you got apex and stuff but like they honestly, need to bring those honestly it's just everyone riding the wave exactly yeah, no one's trying to set the trend they're all trying to create or follow it call of duty exactly. hopped on battlefield hopped on but honestly you don't have a choice anymore you really don't you can't really blame anyone if you want to make a game and actually make profit you you have to kind of go with that trend. Yeah, it's yeah, like the old sad days. Thing, though. What I'm actually what? really afraid of for the Call of Duty franchise is if they're trying to, like, okay, so the Modern Warfare series, it's always been a, a damn good series. Yes. It's yet to really touch Battle Royale at all. I'm sure there's mods or something that added something like that already into it. But the rumored Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, I, I'm i praying that it does not have Battle Royale. If we're being honest, Call of Duty oh, died. Kill me if they do that. Ghost was the death of Call of Duty. Call of Duty died a long time yeah. ago. There's been some okay. decent After games. Call of Duty Black Ops, I was talking my favorite Call of Duties, okay? So biased just because I love Treyarch games because the zombies is so good. But World at War, the best zombies about out there. Oh yeah. Black Ops oh, yeah. 1, really good story. Black Ops 2, the story was pretty good. And the multiplayer was so good. Probably Phenomenal. the best multiplayer ever. It was awesome. Um, the starting to the zombies, like the first half of the game was out, wasn't that good. But they came back at the end of it and they changed the who was in charge of the zombies. Black Ops 3, zombies, best zombies yet, okay? Yeah. You have That's so many good maps. I mean, there's really not any hated maps. The only map that people kind of dislike for Black Ops 3 is that's Bonoshima. And that map's a little underrated. Yeah. So, uh, and then Black Ops 4, like, Black Ops 4 comes along. The multiplayer is okay. There's not much of a story. I mean, you have the HQ kind of thing. And then they just completely changed up the zombies. So it's a lot different. And it kind of killed the zombies community. But overall, it's not that bad. Well, for me, personally, I actually, when the game first came out, Black Ops 4, I loved it. I played it a decent show. Yeah, same here. Same here. But the further 
they went on and then like a month and a half or so later they added microtransactions and then they added the battle pass system where you can buy your tiers and sort of earn them and they keep adding more like essentially quote unquote pay to win so you can pay to get the three new weapons or whatnot and then once they threw in that $30 hammer I was I kind of flipped my shit I even made a video about it where I was just yelling (laughs) it 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 kind of ruined it for me and then I think a day after I posted a video on saying how to enjoy Call of Duty in 2019 where I just (laughs) deleted Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and then reinstalled Modern Warfare 2 (laughs) and rage I have not played Black Ops 4 since, and it's been, I think, almost a month. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Honestly, though, like, I, I was really enjoying Black Ops 4, and then I started playing a lot of Dark Souls. And so that started making me go back to the old games. And yeah. now I can't go back to the newer games, because the newer games, I just see how bad they are now. Yeah, and that's kind of how I am with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Like, I like Black Ops, don't get me wrong. The story for all the games... One, two, three. There's not really much for four, but it's there for the characters. I like it. The multiplayer feels good ish in Black Ops 4. It's just the way they're handling everything. And it's just ruining it for me, like big time. So I'm just like, alright, I kind of gave up. Unless they do something for the Battle Pass owners, or not Battle Pass, um, Season Pass, Black Ops Pass owners, which I, I've spent the $54 on. And then, I think, like, essentially change the game to where it's not a shithole, then I'll hop back on. But until then, I'm basically sticking with the classics. I mean, at least Treyarch tried. I mean, the only, like, I know uh, Black and Black Ops 3. Because what really, if, okay, I said Ghost is what killed Call of Duty, but it really was Advanced Warfare. Because that's when Activision got the idea of, hey, these microtransactions can be used to make a lot more money than what we been using like buying skins because now you have to buy multiple loot boxes instead of just buying just a certain amount of skins and then oh there's nothing else to buy yeah and to be honest so not to put a lot of pressure on advanced warfare that's honestly the game that changed gaming forever and for a like a downfall because after that game microtransactions appeared in every other game yeah gaming became less about entertaining your fans and maintaining a fan base and became more about how much money can you make yeah and don't even get me wrong like advanced warfare was actually a pretty fun game it was the first advanced movement game granted it was a little wonky it was more of like a thrust instead of a glide which i I much prefer the glides yeah um like it was fun and the con like the shooting and everything felt nice and everything. It, the game was fine. It's just the way like the microtransactions and paying to get gear and stuff. Okay, you wanna know what originally started microtransactions, if we're being completely honest? Isn't that um Skylanders. Yeah, Skylanders. Also I thought League of Legends had it. Can can't you pay for the characters? You can, but like if you just wait long enough you'll unlock everything within a couple sure. of months. But yeah, Skylanders, that was a big one. Because Skylanders, you have all these like mini figures just you have to collect now. You have to worry about all of that. And then now Activision, like once they saw how much money Advanced Warfare made just from having a loot box system, that's what really set them into this like money hungry company. And honestly, I I heard that Bondahar nearly lost his job because he was trying to make sure that loot boxes weren't in Black Ops 3. Well, Vondahar, he's chill. I like him. Yeah. Some of, like, okay. He was quote-unquote lying to the community. And then he went and tweeted, like, game development is forever changing, so he could say one thing one day and it can be completely false the next. Which I understand, it's true. But a lot of people were really hating on Vondahar when he said, like, oh yeah, we have tons of stuff to add, and then they added, like, two maps. <laughs> and there's a bunch of reskins and shit. 
And so, I don't know, like, Vondahar is a good guy, but he gets a lot of hate for no reason. I mean, if we're being completely honest, we were just asking for them to bring back the old games, and that's what they really did with Black Ops 4, and it didn't succeed at all. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't like, that ironic? Yeah, because everyone was kind of tired of the advanced, advanced movement, and then we wanted boots on the ground, which we got, which a lot of people really appreciated and still do appreciate. Um, But then there was a whole controversy of reskin maps where it's like a nighttime or a sunset time instead of a new map. Honestly? People started hating that. You know, I'd say the best Call of Duty within the past, let's say five years, because five years, that's around Black Ops 3's time. Black Ops 3 was good, however, I'd say the best multiplayer so far is going to definitely be World War 2. Yeah, yeah, Boots on the Ground, that was pretty solid. Because it was Boots on the Ground, everyone was begging for that at the time. They've, they've been begging for three years, and the only reason that they hadn't gotten it before is because the companies that were making games had already been working on those games for the past three years. So, it had been three years since the Boots on the Ground had been there. And, and they, when they brought it back, they brought back the... Oh, what was the game mode? It was the... Oh, you had objectives to do, and, and it was new every for every map. Oh. What game mode was that? Fuck. I, I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember the other game mode. Wasn't it just called, like, War Mode or something like that? I think so. But yeah, either way, that was really good. Yeah, I liked However, that. The only thing I didn't like was they had like the like kind of like the uh, the Destiny theme with the hub area where everyone would just kind of chill out and yeah deal with and that. And I don't know. I just didn't like it. Well, also how they implemented the supply drops into that too, where it drops for everyone in front of them and it incentivizes them to buy it so they can essentially show off. I don't know, mm, yeah. that, that one kind of threw me off. But, um, but no, so, to the whole three-year thing, and then people were dying for boots on the ground, another reason why Infinite Warfare, other than it being Infinite Warfare, which, personally, I actually really liked Infinite Warfare, uh, people hated the game strictly because they wanted boots on the ground that year, but little did they know, or actually remembered, or whatnot, that game was already worked on for two and a half years. They can't make it boots on the ground within six months. Yeah. Because they would have to change the entire story. That would essentially change the entire theme of the game. So they basically have to make a whole new game within six months. And so that that's a huge reason why Infinite Warfare got hated on. Because it had advanced movement. You know... Honestly, I just kind of stopped buying games other than, like, Treyarch games, and that was only for the zombies, and now that Black Ops 3 kind of finished off the original zombies characters and stuff like that, which is really just, I don't know. In my opinion, that's where I stopped having fun playing video games as much as I was. I still really enjoy playing video games, it's just some games now, I'm like... I don't really want to play this anymore, but I don't have anything else to play at the time, so I'm just, like, constantly playing something I don't want to play. Exactly, that's that's what I'm saying, like, there's not a lot to play. And part of that is because I don't have friends, which is just like, yeah, but I look at my home screen, there's no, like, actual popular games. Yeah, like, here, I'll actually just r pull up my, um... My desktop, so I, my games that I, I play the most are Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I have Overwatch, I have Destiny 2, I have Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017, Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005, and um, Lego Star Wars. My games that I play the most, I would say, is probably Overwatch at the most. I've been playing a little bit of GTA V. I've been playing a lot of Castle Crashers. Um, I've been playing Geometry Dash and Dark Souls. I used to play a lot of Gary's Mod, however, the server I like to play on kind of died. 
Um, I'm kind of playing Clicker Heroes just because that's something to pass the time. And that's really it. I mean, every now and then I'll play Osu, but... Or, like, revisit an old game. Yeah. For me in particular, though, because I grew up on Xbox, I'm really waiting for Halo MCC to come out on PC. Because even if there's no game for me to play, I'll still always go back to Halo. But the reason why I'm not going back to my Xbox to play games, I ran out of gold, and I don't feel like paying 60 bucks to pay for gold when I can just wait a couple months and get Reach on my PC. I actually don't know if I still have to pay for Xbox Live on my 360. Because I don't know if uh, we just never canceled like the transactions, but well, like to where I can refills. Yeah, to where it auto refills, but like every time I get on my 360, it can connect to the internet and still play games online. However, that's only if you can find a game online, which let's be honest, who's going to be on the Xbox 360 on an online server? In 2018 slash 2019. <laughs> especially now with the Xbox One being able to like emulate 360 games, especially with some of the really popular ones like Black Ops 2. Yeah, Most Black Ops 2 actually that. boomed once again when it came to the Xbox One, which is actually really cool. One thing I missed from Black Ops 2 was like the old school like Vanos videos where they would be hiding and they would troll people. Yeah, with C4. <laughs> uh, I remember that one where like he threw it next to the door and he walked up and made people try and grab it and it would kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, dude, Vanos was fucking amazing, but now it's just like same old shit. Almost. They're still entertaining. I mean, now, yeah, I, it's like it's still kind of entertaining. It's the only thing other than Fortnite, so I still watch Vanoss. Yeah. But like nowadays, all he does is like golf and Uno. And yeah. Every now and then a death run video. Death run then, or here and there. It's like, what, the um, Fortnite creative maps? Which I don't really mind because it's something like it's new. But at the same time, it's Fortnite, so I'm just like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. You know, one thing that's, like, really ironic is that when PewDiePie played Fortnite, Apex Legends came out, and that became the number one game. So PewDiePie kind of did kill Fortnite. And so now we just need him to play every other game that's trash. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's true, though. Another thing is uh, PewDiePie used music to defeat a music company, so... Yeah, that's true. I uh, I heard about that. I didn't do a whole lot of digging into it, but I heard about that. It was actually a good song. I credit to uh, because like PewDiePie doesn't usually make music. He usually has someone help him. Mm -hmm. So on congratulations, he had Rumi on the hook, which sounded amazing. And he had Boy and a, Boy and a band help him with the lyrics, and then they purchased a beat from someone else. So. <clears throat> All right, well, um, it is, what, you're two hours ahead, so it's one o'clock for you? Yeah. And it just hit 11, so that means we just hit our hour mark. It really seems like two people are slightly asleep. <laughs> um, definitely one person's asleep. <laughs> and, uh... But yeah, so actually, I think that's going to be the end of the podcast. <laughs> uh, we're all pretty tired. I'm actually getting a headache. I fell asleep. Headphones. Yep, yep. See, like I said. But, Surprise uh, me. But yeah, so any last words before we end the podcast? I just want to know how you guys fell asleep in your chairs. Like... It's actually on my bed. Yeah, for me. Okay, 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 okay. I can understand that because my bed's like kind of comfortable. If I was in my bed, I probably would have fallen asleep by now. I'm not gonna lie. However, since I'm on, I'm at like my, my desktop setup. I can't fall asleep. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to fall asleep if I was sitting on a desktop. But for me, I am okay. Ironic as it sounds, I am a low spec gamer with an okay gaming PC because I don't have a desk. I play on my bed, sitting against yeah. my wall, with my computer on my lap. Agreed. Yeah, that's me too. Like, my desk isn't even set up either, that's the thing, but yeah. Well, I didn't I didn't have a desk until this Christmas, this last Christmas. I had to ask for a desk 
so I could move my PC to my room and the monitor and everything. And I couldn't, because like before the PC would be like in the living room, because we had a crappy wooden desk there, and you would have to like pull out the drawer just to use the keyboard. Oh, I remember oh, those old desks. Yeah. And so just imagine like trying to play Overwatch, making like call outs there, and your mom's like, shut up, I'm trying to do, trying to watch New <laughs> <and> Restless. <laughs> trying to watch Bachelorette. Honestly, that's that's what it was. It was Young and the Restless and Bachelorette, dude. <laughs> but now, when she comes into your room, it's like, get the fuck out of my room! I won't play Minecraft. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, any last things like shoutouts to your um, social media or whatnot? At Larissa underscore Alpazar, you spell my name L A R I S S A underscore A L P I Z A R on Instagram. Yeah. I. What about you, Vet? Uh, shout out to my dogs. They're a pretty furry animal, and I love them. <laughs> hey, furry are banned in Germany. Well, this is in Germany, so. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <clears throat> this is not here. Well, that's going to be the end of the podcast, guys. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. We're honestly just ranting. Um, future, fuck, he passed away <laughs> a half hour ago. Yo, um, I got him. I know what he'll say. But, uh, no. No. <laughs> but, um, it's kind of weird because it's the latest It's the latest for me, yeah, I'm the one with the most energy. So, yeah. so true. Everyone else is passing out. <laughs> well, no, I'm fine. It's just I'm getting a headache with my headphones. They're like kind of tight, so mm. it's like pushing on my head, and then it kind of hurts. But it's to the point where I can like I can fight through it to finish up the podcast and stuff. But uh, I'm definitely gonna take these headphones off after. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, futures. Um, YouTube channel will be linked in the description box below. Definitely hit that. Um, the description for the Discord will also be in the description box below. Click that if you guys want to join our Discord. Uh, it actually is growing quite a bit lately. We've gotten, what, 10, 15 new people in the past like two days. Nice. Um, and... Yeah, I think that's it. it. It's a little late, so I'm not quite sure if I'm remembering everything, but I believe that's it. Mm, yes, okay, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm tired. Unprofessional, but tired. I mean, hey, it's understandable. It's 11. Yeah, but, uh,. Alright guys, well, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Future, his link is in the description box below, like I said, and leave a comment comment, comment in the comment box below, Jesus, um, on topics or stuff that you guys want us to talk about on this podcast, or if you guys want to join the podcast, click the link in the description, join the Discord, hit up uh, some of the mods, or start talking to people, and we'll shoot out like messages and see who wants to join. And you guys can possibly join. But uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, on Sounder out. <laughs>